Hello, welcome to Moina Bass Fishes. And today, we're gonna to be unveiling this newly resorted, reorganized football jig box. I do fish a lot of football jigs, done quite well in tournaments with them over the years. And this is how I keep mine. All right, let's unveil it. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Pretty please. All right, there's nobody over there. I got to do it myself. Ta-da. All right. That might have been a little underwhelming, but freshly labeled. Football, football, football. There's going to be no confusion as to whether this is my deep crank box or my frog box or my spinnerbait box because of the labeling. There's a look inside of that sweetness. All-terrain tackle football jigs. That's what we have here. They're, I'm sponsored by All-terrain Tackle, so obviously I'm going to use their jigs, and I am going to mention them in this video. So you guys go out and buy like thousands of these. So anyways, how do I have this set up? Um, logically, of course. So... There's four sizes of all-terrain tackle football jigs, okay? There's three-eighths, half, three-quarter, one ounce. So what I've done is three-eighths in this column, half in this column, three-quarter in this column, one ounce in this column, all right? And let's not worry, let's not worry about this section yet, okay? So three-eighths, half, three-quarter, one ounce. Now, colors, okay? You like to have some kind of, kind of sorting by color as well. I mean, it's... Primarily, I like, you got to have the stuff sorted by size. Color is also a good thing to have it sorted by. So, um, in this run right here, these are all of my light green ones. So, let me get one of these light green ones out that still has a weed guard on it, because a couple of them I purposely took the weed guard off of. So, there's a look at it. And... That's that color. I use maybe about 10% of the time in clear water applications. In this, in these four cubbies around this row are my brown ones. Okay. Those, I use, I use this color maybe 40% of the time and um, usually in a sometimes clear water. Um, but uh, I don't know, it's just some, sometimes murky water. Murky, I'd say not really murky, but kind of mid, mid murk to, to clear. In this column are my darker green pumpkins. So like there's, look at that color. And I use this color probably 40% of the time. And I put a darker skirt on there typically. So maybe a little bit more, more murky water. Um, or overcast conditions, but this one also works. These two I, are almost interchangeable. Th this color and that color, it's almost who knows, you know. And then this is a miscellaneous row right here, miscellaneous colors. So I got like a really light brown one. There's a black one and some unpainted ones. And I'll use those uh, the remaining 10% of the time. Over here are the all-terrain tackle finesse jigs. These are a quarter ounce. Now they're not a football head, but I put these in here anyways because the lightest football head is three eighths. These are a quarter, and I like to use these in really in shallow water with like like Canadian Shield rock, for example. It's really grabby. You snag a lot in Canadian Shield rock. The slider jig goes through that rock a little better than the three eighths. And I'll typically won't use this any deeper than 10 feet. So that's those four. Now these three here, these are the skirts, extra skirts. Now, Altering Tackle sells skirted jigs. Uh, and I use a lot of the stock colors, but I have additional colors that I hand make myself. So in here would be like the light green ones, you know, light green with purple, light green with some green flake. Uh, you know, it's variations of light green, and they all go on these heads. Browns are in this one. They go on the brown heads, and it's variations of browns. Like, here's a really cool stock. That's a stock all-terrain tackle color. Um, then there's some brown oranges and some darker browns, lighter browns. 
And then up in this container, this cubby, we got skirts that typically go on these heads. I also got some black blue ones on the bottom in there that will go on the black heads. And uh, so there. That's how I do it. And thanks for watching. See you next time.